Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's RB Leipzig up against Celtic. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well drilled defensively and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through, though, it will be a major upset. Have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And here's the starting 11 for Celtic. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Forsberg. Possession one. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Retaining possession proving difficult. Big chance. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. Are back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. So Bosloy. Furuhashi. And do they mean business on this occasion? Crossing opportunity. High quality defending. Carter Vickers. And successfully cut out. Haidara. Nkunku has it. Emil Forsberg Werner how oh, far from the ideal pass you've got to say oh and a perfect ball now how about this able to get his body in the way Werner
Now with Forsberg. But he could run onto it here. But I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised. Offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. Kyogo Furuhashi. Difficult to stop him. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Delivered into the box. Taking care of business defensively here. It did look on for them, but not to be. Kevin Kumper. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Can he find the net? The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Well, the stats tell you everything. The chances have been few and far between, and they haven't tested the goalkeeper anywhere near enough. If they want to get something from this game, they're going to have to improve in the final third. Daisen Maeda. A bit of running room now on the wing. Throw in for Celtic. Can he put it away? Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Forsberg and one minute of stoppage time has been added on and with that the first half draws to a close well Christopher Nkunku is frequently such a focal point but not really having his say so far is he yeah he's been well marshaled so far but he hasn't worked the defenders or the goalkeeper hard enough He's got to impose himself on this game, otherwise they're going to struggle to get back into this. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Let's see if something comes of this. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? Forsberg, will they get themselves level here? And it's a goal! Level again! What a match this is turning out to be! Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And a tidy challenge.
Can they create something from here? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Nkunku. Forsberg. Could go ahead. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. As the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Wasteful from Celtic. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal! The quick one, too! And they've turned this game on its head! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So they get the ball moving again. We won the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? He has teammates around him. Keep working away, looking for an opening. So Bosloy. Making progress. Well, that'll be a free kick. And time for the change now. And he whips it in. Well, no real accuracy. And easy for the keeper. Turnbull. Kyogo Furuhashi. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Gvardiol. On to Orban. Timo Werner. He could pick out a teammate. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. fairly run of the mill in terms of what the keeper had to do oh great vision he continues his run oh, a disappointing touch and now a corner Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Benjamin Henricks coming onto the pitch, number 23, Marcel Halstenberg. Now sending it in. Well, no end product.
corner given. And now the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. the keeper and nothing wrong with that free kick either and a corner kick the referee's verdict can he deliver it with accuracy And there goes the final whistle. Well, they've got to make up for lost time now. A defeat at home on match day one, Stuart. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one. Well, he is a player with the capacity to enthrall Timo Werner. Let's get your assessment as regards his performance in this game. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.